This zone is one of the highest areas for reported tick bites and tick diseases in the country, this New York, Connecticut area. For ticks in our environment in the Northeast here, what uh, typically is the case is uh, the white-footed mouse is the, is the biggest vector or that's its most favorite host, if you want to call it that. That's what it wants to feed on the most. Uh, it's probably the most prevalent too. There are more mice out there than we probably could, we want to know. Um, so that's, that's its main home at this point. Mice are a big problem. A lot of people think deer fencing will prevent deer ticks from coming on their properties, but the truth is a lot of them are spread by mice, which crawl right under the deer fencing. I mean, they can infect any mammal. So, I mean, you're talking from, you know, obviously deer, that's how it, we've gotten the deer tick named, to birds, to squirrels, to rabbits, to, you know, just about anything, groundhogs. Uh, it's gonna, you probably find ticks on just about anything. When we talk about the life cycle of a tick, we, we look at it in four stages. It's gonna start as an egg, it's gonna go into a larvae, it's gonna go into a nymph, and then it'll be an adult. Obviously, the egg portion, we're not really gonna be concerned about uh, of its life cycle. That's not gonna affect us as human beings or mammals. Uh, once it gets into the nymph uh, stage, that's where we need to start being concerned. Nymph and adult is the major, major two concerns we have. Uh, both of them will feed on mammals, including us as humans and your pets. The most famous disease that ticks carry is Lyme disease. There are new diseases emerging like ehrlichiosis and bibosis and a few others. There's still research being done on this.